Hey, my lovely Willow Vibes tribe members. I am Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes, and I'm here to do a collective reading for whoever. If it fits, it fits. If not, you know, let it fly. It's a general reading. Not all messages will apply to every single one of you. You might get a little, little gem over here and then not over here. You know what I mean? So just whatever feels right to you. A lot of people get messages mixed up and confused because they just take everything on or they ignore everything one or the other and with guidance but where will it lead you it's like really go within because the answers are found within you each individual person so it's like say me or any reader says i don't know whatever they say whatever the messages are and you're like wow you're just picking up on me a thousand percent and sometimes we are it just depends um how strong the messages are coming through and and you know what's meant for you because if it's usually if it's a warning like to stay clear of a situation a person or that there's a problem surrounding you um it will just be an overload sometimes but you can still kind of break it up into digestible pe digestible pieces for yourself you know um it's not the reader's job to do that it's it's your job because we just we're the messengers and then you're at the fork in the road which way are you gonna go you know what i mean so it's kind of what's going on here powerful personal growth someone is growing from this unhealthy experience situation whatever that is to you or whoever you're dealing with um but anyways please like 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 comment share and subscribe stick around i hope you do stay i'd love it if you would so i was told before I'm so out of breath for some reason. So there could be somebody who is, you know, working out. No, this is nervous crap. You know when you're really nervous and your heart rate spikes, which can make you breathe heavier, dries out your mouth, which is why in interrogations, a lot of the times officers have, oh, would you like some water? They pay attention to everything. And all these little side messages that I say have meaning um, for whoever. They're like examples to help break down situations to help you figure things out for yourself so anyways that's what interrogators do they they leave the water out because if you're really nervous which that's kind of an uncomfortable it's the room's built to be uncomfortable it's made to be that way it's very plain it's very what's the word clinical i guess you could say and they do that on purpose they don't want you to feel comfortable they want you to feel kind of uneasy so that they can test you and they can see if you're lying or not and if you're wicked nervous even if you're sitting there you know holding your composure but you're breathing heavier your heart rate spiking yeah they, they're not feeling your pulse but things happen within your body that make them know their telltale signs like your mouth will dry out and then you'll drink more water you'll sit more stuff and as you're talking because you're trying to get more oxygen to calm yourself down basically and that dries out your mouth I don't know why the hell I'm going into this maybe somebody's gonna be interrogated <laughs> or they they feel like they are and it's like I know what it is it's like you you know something about someone or a situation and they're having a hard time coming forward because there's some nervous energy in here they're having a hard time coming forward telling you something someone's nervous about telling you something because you're like an officer you're like an interrogator they don't want to be interrogated they don't want to be made to feel uncomfortable something like that someone might be approaching a high priestess or a high priest just saw an orb and before i hit record i'm like why am i feeling so huffy puffy and like what the fuck because I was fine, and then all of a sudden I see this big orb just go right across the screen. I was like, that's why I'm feeling huffy puffy. <laughs> Spirit is talking, and they were, I was feeling it. Which, before I get into this, <coughs> I want to say, for some reason I want to say this. Like, I wasn't really feeling the best yesterday. And regardless of my day, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm not getting into it. I was watching... I don't know, I was watching a TV show and it had to do with paranormal activity and stuff, but it was mainly like the unexplained. So it's got a whole mix of crap in there. And there was this one episode or one part where they went to, 
um, a haunted house or a house that was claimed to be haunted, a lot of suicides there, a lot of problems. But anyway, so like negative energy. And as I'm watching it, all of a sudden, I shit you not, like, I was like, what the hell? I'm just sitting there fine watching it and like, you know, kind of getting the feel for for what I'm seeing. And then I'm like, oh, my head fucking hurts really bad. Like I got an instant headache. And I literally started throwing up in my trash can. I was like, I don't feel good. I don't feel good. I don't feel good. And then no sooner do I start, you know, purging basically, the dude on the TV was like, we got to get out of here. I have such a bad headache and I feel like I'm going to be sick. And I was like, <laughs> I picked up on that. Just saying, I don't need to be at a location to, to sense things, you know, um, it's kind of crazy when that stuff happens, but I'm like, wait a minute, what did he say? <laughs> Cause that's how I'm feeling all of a sudden. So, and it wasn't due to negative energy. It was due to how some of the people passed in that place because some of them were poisoned and that is how you will die. Just FYI. I don't know. Some people get things mixed up cause they don't understand it. People get things mixed up because they don't understand it. So there's that. Yeah. They, they don't understand the death the dead <laughs> they don't understand the other side spirituality um you know even the best mediums and psychics and stuff we're all still learning every single one of us will never know everything never and the second you think you do you should stop doing whatever you're doing because that's just no one's ever a know-it-all this this universe is so vast there's no fucking way one person can know everything just no way so anyways um someone might look at you as though you are a know-it-all because you are a high priestess or high priest but you're figuring things out along the way as well even if you know a lot if you're very intelligent spiritually and intellectually and otherwise that doesn't mean you're a know-it-all do you know what i mean some people might be acting that way maybe you're dealing with someone who is a know-it-all or something I don't know why they think they are and then we have snow angel the signs are all are with you already so whatever signs synchronicities messages dreams whatever spirit is sending you there are you're already receiving the messages you already received the message so the tea is out because I wanted to use the tea oracle Problems to be resolved, ink pot. That's right on the top. So now it's time to resolve a problem because you already are aware of it. And I feel like Spirit could be helping you um, figure out how to resolve whatever this issue is. Communication. But anyways, I was told to light a candle. And I made these candles. And this one is the, the relaxation candle. This is like the calming energy. And it smells so good. I can't remember what I used, but it smells good. Anyways, it's like, be the calm within the storm. You have been the calm within the storm, but continue because this, the seas are going to start raging. Oh, the seas are going to start raging. Someone's going to get pretty emotional because this feels like a high stress situation. Um, someone's getting in trouble. That's what it feels like. Or they're afraid of getting in trouble, which is why they don't want to speak up. So just relax. And I'm like, I need to put this on something in case it drips down. And I was drawn to my wish jar. Wishes. May all of your wishes and dreams come true. And that's what we're going to light this candle to. May all your dreams and wishes come true, especially if you are of the light. And let's just calm down and relax. Because everything is going to be all right. Because I'm telling you, there's a shit show coming and you just need to remain centered and calm through the storm. It's almost like on the Titanic, once the, the crew knew that, you know, the ship was going down, it's like, you know, there's no saving this. Now we need to focus on getting the passengers off the boat. And they were freaking out because they knew they didn't have enough lifeboats. And it's like, who's going to come with us? Who's not kind of thing. It's hard to pick and choose. And that's not up to you is what I just heard. So it's not, someone might be trying to play God. They could have done death magic spells or they're fucking, someone's fucking with someone's life. And that's probably why they're so scared right now. I'm just saying, but don't worry, you're safe. But anyways, it's the crew's 
job to keep everyone calm. They failed epically on the Titanic. I'm <laughs> just saying, at least in part. But that's what, you know, um, the musicians were doing. They went down with the ship trying to make sure everyone was just like, it's okay. You know, we're gonna, if this is the last thing we can ever do on earth is to make sure that we create a sense of peace, then so be it. So some of you, there could be somebody who wants to come forward, even though they know that it's dangerous. Like if I'm the rat or the snitch or the whatever, you know, I could lose my life. I could get hurt or, you know, it could, a bigger problem could arise, but I want to do the right thing. Even if it's the last thing I ever do, I'm going to do the right thing. So someone might be feeling that way. They're being guided to do that, but they're really nervous about it. Whatever that is for you, them, whoever, but it's almost like we're going to do. There's an air pocket in there. That thing scared the fucking shit out of me. It just went, choo. It sounded like a sneeze. It sounded like my candle just sneezed. It was a karmic. But anyways, it was right when I picked up the devil. We're going to do this when the devil has his or her back turned. That's what that looks like. It's like, oh, the devil's focused on something else right now. Now's my time to say something, do something. Ow, oh, my eye. But it's both of them. <laughs> this one hurts more. The left eye, but then, ah, like, I don't know. I felt like, ow. <laughs> I don't want to see this. I don't want to see this. I don't want to see this. Someone doesn't want to see something. Well, you're going to be shown regardless. So anyways, just goose frog off. So let's see. What is the overall energy here? Can we get more on whatever the hell this is? <sighs> I don't know. I feel better all of a sudden. I really do. A little bit of this, this, a little bit of that, that. What the fuck is that? Isn't that that this, this, that, that? It's a, like a hand like this. Miss Mary Mac, 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 all dressed in black, black, black. It could, kids games. There could be children involved or this is something from when you were a child or it's been going on for a long ass time. I don't know, you could know. These could be childhood friends even who are involved. Um... Something about being temporary. Something's temporary. Because I'm staring at the pencil. Pencils, you can erase things. This was only supposed to be temporary. You were the best thing in my life. Someone's missing you. And I heard, you were the best thing in my life. And I gone done and fucked it up. That's what I just heard. So somebody feels like they screwed something up. Could be someone you even have children with or someone from your past. I don't know, because it's, I don't know, there's like immature energy here. So if there's no children involved, then someone's acting very childish. Or all of the above. So anyways, give me one more. This is the Hidden Truth Oracle. Well, I guess I hide behind material things. So somebody basically values material things more than... Um, companionship and friendship and shit, but I feel like somebody might be changing their perspective on that. Right. <coughs> I feel you even though we are apart. I feel you leaving me behind. Somebody's upset that you're disconnecting from them energetically, but I feel like you're disconnecting from that period. It's like, we're not talking, we're not moving forward. I'm not trying, I'm not chasing, I'm not whatevering. You know, you're just kind of doing you, basically. And it's like, I still feel you. They still feel your energy. You guys probably feel each other energetically. Even if you're not the high priestess energy, it's just like, you know, when you're really close to somebody, you can, you can literally feel them. You can feel their emotions, even on a minute level. Regardless of how strong the sensation is, you still feel it. And this person knows. They just know that you're... It's like, how's my ass look as I walk out the fucking door? This person just knows that you're you're done with whatever this bullshit is. I hid who I really am from you. And they regret it. I look for you everywhere. This person is watching you heavily. They could, it could just be online, you know, like, I can't wait for you to post a picture. Or, you know, if you randomly, this just popped in my head. If it just randomly pops in your head, something, an idea or whatever, it could be coming from somebody else, from this person, whoever this is to you. 
someone you're definitely connected to. Like, I don't know, your heart strings are connected to them or something. But anyways, um, if something just randomly pops in your head and you go do it, a lot of, I feel like for some of you, not for a lot of you, a lot of the times, it's this person going, I think you should take a selfie right now or do this or do that. And it's not, they're not telling you what to do. It's just they're thinking about it. Like, I really wish you would post a picture. I really wish you would do whatever the hell you do, like in whatever way that they can see you. I see you everywhere, even when you're not there, even when your face isn't in front of my face kind of thing. Like, you're just, what the shit, you know? This person is in, in regret, big time. I should have been a better friend, is what I just heard. So this person wasn't very supportive. Um, they were selfish, is what this feels like. Yeah, whoever this is was being very selfish and they're regretful because I kind of feel like you were the only one there for them. Not today, not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call a person bound, you're still angry, but it showed up reversed. Someone might want to come in and say something. They want to heal a situation between the two of you, but they are dealing with someone unhealthy or they know someone unhealthy is around you. I feel you leaving me behind. Fuck, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make the call. I'm going to text i'm gonna message i'm gonna do something i don't know whatever that is this person's gonna reach out that's the way i'll say it they're gonna reach out it might catch some of you off guard because some of you might have already put this person away in your past like whatever chalk this up to a lost cause you know what i mean um and yeah they're heartbroken about it this person also knows that they hurt you their friends hurt you as well they could have hurt you with gossip or <coughs> with not talking with lying they hurt you with the words I don't know something they said hurt you or something you said hurt them I don't <coughs> what the shit <clears throat> I put like a dry spot in my throat like really bad Now this person, they want to talk, but they, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't know how to start this is what that feels like. So let's see what the T is right quick. Besides the, a problem is going to reach resolution. So what's up? Torch. Spiritual development. Yeah, somebody is gaining a higher sense of knowledge, or you are, both of you are. Um, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. Somebody's going to bring in the truth. So if you have been praying for the truth, like just, I want someone to speak up. I want to know what the fuck's going on with so-and-so in this situation, whatever it is. Someone's like, all right, I'm going to bring you the truth. Grasshopper. Situation, situations in the balance that require careful handling. Young grasshopper. This person is learning. They could be learning about spirituality or they're having a sudden realization like that you're more tapped in than they thought and it's like, oh shit. But regardless of that, it's regardless of spirituality, this feels like a sense of growth. Like you can't continue to act a certain way. It's like, when are you going to fucking grow up and be a man, be a woman and, you know, take responsibility for your actions, whether they're piss poor or not. So someone's trying to like tiptoe around a situation because they know something. There's someone here that knows something about a bad situation and they're tiptoeing around it. The cracked cup. Found that in the woods, just saying. Dissatisfaction with life. Yeah, this person could be dealing with depression or they're just, they could have done something because they're in a bad place financially or just emotionally speaking or all of the above. Nest. I left that at my grandfather's grave and it was empty. An emotionally secure, an emotionally secure loving family is important to you. A lot of you just want to have a happy family, but I feel like there is a problem within a family situation. Some of you could be nurturing an unhealthy family situation and all the eggs are going to fall out. Tankard, celebration, fun, and enjoyment. Somebody's getting enjoyment out of creating discord within within a family or within your life or something like that it's almost like someone thinks they won I don't know what they think they won 
play stupid games, win stupid prizes is what this feels like. The devil might think he, he or she won. It's like getting enjoyment out of out of your misery. What the fuck is up with this? This person's psycho, whoever the hell it is. Like, oh, this is fun. It's fun to fuck with people. That's how, that, whoever this is, that's how they think. Okay, compliments from an admirer. Somebody might, a heartbreaker might be coming in. Great personal sorrow. Yeah, to hurt you. Someone might be coming in. Tree. Affairs with your family. Your family could be involved in this situation. I'm just saying. Children, parents, what, aunt, uncle, whatever. I don't fucking know. Whoever the hell these people are. But... I just heard catfish. There could be catfish energy in here. You might be thinking you're talking to one person when you're talking to somebody else or something. But regardless of that, that's not for everyone. Um, I don't know. Someone's tiptoeing around because of a family situation. Because they could be tiptoeing around family. Like within the household. So your kids could be tiptoeing around you. Like I don't want mom or dad to know what's going on kind of thing. Or I don't know. Something. Dissatisfaction with life, great personal sorrow. I'm hurting, so I want you to hurt. That's what this feels like. It's the spinning plates. Some All the plates are coming crashing down. Because somebody can't keep their story straight, for one. I just heard, I just, I don't want to do this anymore. Somebody found out the truth as to why they were doing something they shouldn't be doing. And they don't like the reason. Fox. Shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. Could be a family business that's a problem, but... There's a sly mofo around who's doing something for money. And it's potentially within your family. Bird perch, waiting for news, package, or letter, celebration, fun, and enjoyment. Yeah, you're going to have a reason to celebrate because news, good news is coming in. Eh, information is coming in. You know what's weird about the good news is it, it feels like answered prayer. You know, like I finally am getting, finally getting the truth. So yay to that. But, um... But what you're going to hear or see or whatever, however the fuck this information comes in, you're going to go, did I really want to know that? Yes, you do want to know it because you need to know the truth. But it's, I don't know. It's like, yay, finally, I fucking know. But what the shit? Why did you do that? You know, like, why, 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 why? That's what that feels like. So... Um, there's some of the tea for you. You're going to give someone a fucking finger. I'm just saying. But anyway, <laughs> it's funny because my fingers light up in different situations, like with different people. And finger, warning you of a problem, either now or in the near future. I'm warning you of a problem. It's not a gun, two fingers, but that's exactly what this looks like. I'm warning you, I'm warning you, I'm warning you of a problem. Someone isn't listening. You might get a heads up from one of the devil's minions. Like, whoever's working against you, there's more than one person, and there's one who's feeling guilty. There's someone who's like, I guess I gotta say something. Someone's gonna say something, but they're nervous. Because they don't, yeah, success. Don't worry, success is assured, so if you're nervous about speaking up, or hearing whatever this information is. Don't worry. You will come out on top. If you do the right thing. Alright. So we'll get just a little bit more. What's going on? What's going on over there? Someone might want to ask that question. I don't feel like it's to you. I mean it could be depending on who you is. But it's almost like. Whoever's waiting for the truth, the information, whatever the fuck it is, whoever's waiting for the clarity, like, I just want someone to fucking speak up kind of thing, <coughs> the message isn't coming in to you. It's coming, potentially coming into a love interest or a Gemini. 
that's a dude or a girl? I can never, no, that's the Queen of Swords. <laughs> dude or a girl. Um, that just made me think of someone. Anyways, Libra, Libra energy, air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but it's like making a decision to bring in some type of clarity because I keep staring at the sun, the sunshine. I just heard we'll do this together. So, okay. If you're the one waiting for information to come in, whoever, there's like a, whoever the problem people are, there's one person, potentially someone that you have feelings for that has feelings for you, even if you are unaware, um, who is like, they know that they need to do the right thing, but somebody connected to them is figuring things out and they might go, okay, well, what's going on over there? Like, tell me. And then they'll be like, okay, well, let's do this together. You know, I'll, I'll hold your hand. I'll help you deliver the truth. I'll help you. Yeah, I'll help you deliver the truth so that you're not in this alone. I'll help you fight. You don't have to fight this battle alone. Whether it's an inner battle, external, it's external, it's against other people, but you don't have to fight this alone. Someone wants to come in and help. And I kind of feel like they might be helping the enemy because it, the enemy isn't really, whoever this person is, they, they want to fix something. And they don't know what to do. They don't know how to fix it. So there's an external person that's like, all right, well, I'll help you. We can do this together. We'll go talk to so-and-so. We'll you know, whatever it is. It could be online even because I just saw the Page of Swords. I'll help you watch. I'll help you watch. My ear hurts really bad all of a sudden, like, feels like I shoved a Q-tip in my ear or something. Or like, I don't know, it hurts. Anyways. I'll help you watch. In the dark. I'll help you watch so and so at night. Because you are protected. This sun, someone wants to protect the truth, I'm just going to say, but the sunshine, like she's, you know, all happy. And you can see this person clearly, he or she, no matter who this is. It could be a Leo, not necessarily, or an air sign, definitely, but. Or you just have that in your chart. We are um, in Leo season, anyways. It's like, truth is out about whoever this person is, like you. The truth is out about you. So if you're the one being attacked, whether you're aware of it or not, um, everyone knows the truth about you. There's, there's, just not, there's no shadows here. But this is the way it showed up. And it's like, it looks like I'm just sitting here all like, doo -doo -doo, living my life, doing whatever I'm doing. I'm oblivious to everything. But the sun is about clarity. I'm not oblivious. I see. I see what's going on. Look, I got a wall right here. The eye of Horus, which is protection. The moon is protecting the sun. The moon is protecting the sun. Like I see. Try to get over that wall. The moon could be protecting the truth as well, which in turn is protecting another person. Um, could be protecting you, even. It's like, you think I don't see you coming, but I see you. Like, that's what that looks like to me. Like, oh, I'm just having a good time. No, I'm paying attention. I'm paying attention. Because look, in this, with the star energy, the stars are definitely on your side, I'm going to say, but you're the star of the show, whoever you are. And she looks like she's just kind of balancing her emotions out, healing, going through whatever process she's going through. But she's talking to spirit. She's helping heal another person or people. So you're very healing. And it's like, oh, there's the rose. Something's blooming because of this.
I'm doing what I need to do. I just heard I'll take care of you. Don't worry, I'll take care of you. Someone's love for someone is in the dark, I'm just saying. Or you're you're keeping you're keeping your feelings hidden about a certain someone or they're keeping their feelings hidden about you because they don't want anyone to know. It's like their Achilles heel. They, I don't want anyone to know my weakness kind of thing or you don't want anyone to know yours. Something like that because there's, look, there's a guy right here at night that's looking at this ace of cups like, I have to keep this in the dark for now because I don't want whoever these people are or this person to know because I don't want them to hurt you. And it's not about them hurting whoever this person is. It's like, I don't want them to know because I don't want you to get hurt. Because it's like, if I get hurt, you get hurt. If you get hurt, you get hurt. Like, you know what I mean? And then it's like, I don't know, something like that. So there is a lot of love here for someone, but they have to keep it hidden. There's police involvement as well, or there will be if there isn't already and vandalism maybe that's why the police are involved because someone's vandalizing shit that could just be a side note it is i heard that's karma oh well there's the devil right there we have death change is coming someone wants to change the way they communicate with you but this communication this truth is going to change the course of everything Yes, it's going to change the course of everything. Someone wants to put a stop to the bullshit. Because this is keeping something going. The cycle hasn't ended. The truth will end the cycle. So that's ultimately what needs to happen here. Someone needs to speak the fuck up, basically. And they feel like they're at a loss. They don't really know what to do. But, you know, do the right thing, whatever that is to you. <sighs> whatever that is to you, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. He, that's at night, too. Because, look, these are both at night. So, it's like, this person might watch you at night. And it's like they have their back turned to you in the, in the daytime. Or, if it's not nighttime, daytime, whatever. It's, <sighs> you know why this person has their back turned to you because we got to keep it hush hush I keep doing that too because he's he's watching this, this person this king is watching whoever this is could even be their own child but regardless of whoever this is watching this sun energy it's like they see fulfillment here but they're keeping everything to themselves i almost put him on top he's at the top of the tower watching everything i just heard nobody knows but me hmm. fucking watermelon there's a watermelon in there too, and I have Morse code on my watermelon, just saying. Nine of Wands. He looks all defensive here, but this is the way it showed up. It's like, why are you so grumpy? Why are you standing there not moving? It's like guarding somebody. Somebody's guarding someone. What the fuck she have in her hands? It almost looks like she's like, come here. I have something for you, and he's just like, you can't trick me, bitch. <laughs> I don't know, something like that. Like, come hither. Uh, nope, I'm going to stand tall because this is what I'm supposed to do. It's making me think of, like, over in Europe, those, what are they called? The guards, like the queen's guards or something. They just stand there, and they can't move. And that's like kind of like, I can't move. I got to do, I got to stand here. I got to do this. You can't coax me away because I have to do this. So someone might be trying to to 
to get someone to leave your side. Like you're off duty now. Mm -mm. No, no. Someone has a gut feeling that they need to do something. That they need to stand guard. I don't know what that's about in order to move forward. Well, there is communication coming in. I don't know. Someone's like, ah, I don't know. Someone doesn't want you to be left alone. They might be having trouble sleeping even. Like, like they're waking up at weird times or they sleep at weird times because it's like when everyone else is asleep, like that Titanic story. She had a bad feeling and the mother and she slept when everyone was awake and she was awake when everyone was asleep because if something bad happened, she wanted to know. My son's friends can't sleep all of a sudden. Like literally the past couple of days, he has not been able to sleep at night. He sleeps all fucking day, but he can't sleep at night. And he said that to me last night. I got up at three o'clock in the morning to go to the bathroom and it's just like, I just I can't sleep. Can I talk to you? And I was like, huh? I don't wanna talk, it's three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> but then of course I go upstairs and I'm like, damn it, now I can't sleep. <laughs> He didn't really say anything, but he just was like, I can't sleep. I'm like, well, you could have just said that and I would have went to bed. But you had me wondering. <laughs> but anyways, I don't know. It's something like that. And I'm not saying it has anything to do with him, but um, someone might be acting that way. I don't know. There's like a change. There's a change. Someone's got something to say. They really, really got something to say. Mm -hmm. And it could have something to do with money or someone in a family situation. Someone wants to talk about spiritual messages. Like, I don't know, they're getting signs and synchronicities. Yes, they are. Um, and they're not understanding it fully, or they think they are, and they want more clarity. So if you're the high priestess, which she's already out here, so um, someone might come towards you asking for spiritual advice. But even if they don't, I don't know, you give good advice is what I just heard. But this person wants to give you what you deserve because everyone's taken from you. I just don't know how to do it quite yet. Yes, they do. Someone's strategizing. Because the devil's watching someone walk away. There's sneaky energy here. Wait a minute. What just shit is this? The devil. We're going to walk away while the devil has his back turned what that looks like we're gonna come in what the fuck because then we have the queen of cups cancer pisces scorpio and it looks like this thief energy is walking right towards right towards this queen it's like all right well the devil has his back turned well this asshole has his or her back turned we're gonna sneak in And make this change because this is death but this is illumination we're gonna sneak in well the devil has his back turned we're gonna sneak in because this is facing death and this is like like remembrance somebody's remembering something the dead's talking to this one i'm just saying but we're going to set you free. That's what this is. When the devil has his or her back turned, we're going to sneak in and set this person free. Could be a Scorpio because we have death here. Cats are Pisces Scorpio, but it's like you think you won. But did you? I don't know. Something like that. It's like tactical. There's a tactical approach here. I mean, the fucking could be military or police, you know. SWAT does that shit too. Because um, that's what's making me think of. It's like when you're on a mission to get a kidnapped victim or a victim of any kind who's stuck somewhere. Um, or like if you're a prisoner of war, <laughs> what it feels like. Even if you don't feel like a prisoner, someone's like a prisoner. Yep. Someone feels, but they, you are whether you feel it or not, but I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. That just popped in my head. I can't do this anymore. 
someone's making changes and they're positive because they can't do something anymore because they i don't know this is not what i signed up for dragon beware of self delusion whoops but well that just flipped well that just flipped You. Angel, spiritual guidance, protection from harm. We had temperance out. I'm telling you, obstacles to overcome. This obstacle will be over. Will you'll overcome it? But you are divinely protected, and someone wants you to think you're not. Listen to your intuition, not your head, because telepathic communication, shit like that. If you if you're sensitive to energy, it's period. End of discussion. Beware, beware of this. Listen to, listen to messages with love. I just heard you got this. Kick some ass. So someone's gonna kick some ass. Whatever that means, could be physically or otherwise. You got this. Kick some ass. Handshake. A meeting with a stranger could be important. Pay attention to the people around you and the things they say. Because some of these strangers know you, but you don't know them. Yep. But anyways, I love you guys, and I'll talk to you real soon. Good luck with all of this. I feel like it's going to be resolved, whatever it is to you. Just be prepared. You already know. I almost blew out the relaxation. I almost blew out the candle. Release your fucking power. You're more powerful than you give yourself credit for. Yeah, a powerful energy shift. Jesus. 3-3. Three, three. This is a very divine number. I'm just saying. Like, it really is. Because wasn't Jesus like 33 when he died and stuff? I don't know. It has something to do with Catholicism. But if you really think about multifaceted religious beliefs. Anyways, I don't know. That just popped in my head. If you really think of um, different religions and stuff. It doesn't matter who your deity or deities are, whoever you believe in, whatever. A lot There's a lot of synchronicities between each religion. Like, there's a lot of similarities. And a lot of it has to do with numerology, the, the, the Knights Templar and stuff. Um, three is freaking significant as all get up. I'm just saying. It really is. And I keep writing three, three. And I do it inside of a sun. And um, the divine... The divine is with you. Because then we have 30, which breaks down to a 3. Magical space clearing time. I'm telling you, we're getting rid of people, places, and things that don't fucking serve us. And if you can't get rid of them, count your blessings. Because God himself, the universe, the almighty, whoever that is to you, is coming down. To make people pay. And a lot of people will go, well, you know, God and Jesus is all about redemption and, you know, he loves all his children. Yes, he does. But not all his children deserve that holy. They're not all walking a holy path, basically. It's just like it's tough love. He's bringing down some tough love is what it feels like. And sometimes tough love is go be gone you know what i mean yeah a miracle's headed your way so don't fear don't fear my dear there's a miracle here from death becomes rebirth and a lot of change is going to come from the situation massive shifts and it's a beautiful change it's not like oh crap what the hell the storm is going to suck it has sucked working up to it it's like microbursts everywhere now the fucking tornado is coming down but then it'll be cleanup time but anyways, I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.